employers want to have a solid understanding of who you are. If you're looking for remote work, there's only so much you can communicate based on a resume alone. While you can write a cover letter, not every job accepts one or even reads it. One way around this issue is to create a data science blog. A blog allows you to showcase a glimpse of your personality, and perhaps more importantly, allows you to showcase your communication skills. In this video, I'll share with you how you can start writing a data science blog that can improve your online presence. Now, if you're like most people I consult with, you're probably wondering, what do I write about? Luckily, data science is a broad field, and there's always something that you can contribute. You can write about a particular machine learning algorithm, exploratory analysis, statistical technique, or visualization. You can turn a kernel on Kaggle or a project on GitHub into an accompanying blog post. You can even write a blog about something you're learning and trying to understand better. Even if you're new to data science, keep in mind that there's so many people entering the field that you can offer a unique perspective to learners that are behind where you are in your data science journey. Whatever you decide to write about, just make sure you set a realistic goal for a post. If you try to do everything in a single post, it may seem overwhelming. You can always publish a blog and improve it with increasing knowledge over time. The next thing you might be wondering is, how do I actually publish a blog? The quickest path is to use a platform like Medium or another blogging platform. The benefit here is that you don't have to host your own website. It's as easy as creating an account, writing, and posting. This approach can also lead to more traffic for your posts as the blogging platforms benefit from more people viewing your work. More views of your work can also lead to increasing network opportunities and employment. Using a platform comes with disadvantages though. A platform can decide to change its terms and conditions or force your posts behind a paywall. The other option is to make your own website. I recommend hosting with GitHub pages and blogging with Jekyll. The added advantage of this is that you can customize your site for your individual needs. With all this in mind, I encourage you to think about how you can create a data science blog to increase your online presence. 